Dr. Fauci, when is the last time you spoke to the president? About two and a half weeks ago. Admiral Shawa, when is the last time you spoke to the president? It was, a, it was about two and a half weeks ago as well, maybe three weeks ago. Honorable Hahn, um, when is the last time you spoke to the president about the pandemic's response and the response? Uh, it's been some time since I spoke about the pandemic response. So in a way, by doing all of this testing, we make ourselves look bad. I have always said testing is somewhat overrated. So I said to my people, slow the testing down, please. They test and they test. We got tests that people don't know what's going on. We got tests. We got another one over here. Mr. President, at that rally when you said you asked your people to slow down testing, were you just kidding or do you have a plan to slow down testing? I don't kid. Let me just tell you. Let me make it clear. The bill for MAGA has come due. Trump supporters, it's time to pay up. The deferred invoice for you selling your souls is here. It's time to pay for every incendiary campaign boast you cheered, every factless diatribe you vigorously applauded, every nonsensical middle-of-the-night tweet you boosted, every dehumanizing stereotype and slur you shared, every callous and cruel rally insult you passionately amend. It's time to pay for every denial of scientific evidence, every terminated qualified conscientious objector, every attack on factual responsible journalism, every vicious assault on objective reality, every nepotistic cabinet appointment, every star-spangled dog and pony show distraction, every lazy xenophobic caricature, every tired racist tirade. This is how your beloved capitalism works, isn't it? Someone was always going to pay for services rendered. Nothing is free. Isn't that what you've been saying? No handouts? Well, dig deep, friend, because you're on the hook for this. Many people have been footing the bill for a long time. Migrants and Muslims and transgender people. Young black men, refugees, the sick and the poor, already vulnerable communities pushed all the way to the brink, and now, passed it. You were paying too, of course. You were just too willfully ignorant or intellectually negligent to realize it. Over and over we tried to tell you about the cost, the civil rights you were sacrificing too, the environmental protections you were losing, as well as we were, the safety and security you were relinquishing alongside us. We tried to tell you that this hardship was not a partisan expense that his moral bankruptcy would eventually hit you hard too. But your Fox News bubble and your white evangelical echo chamber and your America first don't tread on me middle finger affinity clubs left you certain you were insulated from it all, that the only tears that would fall would be liberal ones, that the only people suffering voted for Hillary, that all of the pain would be isolated to people who vote blue. You felt immune from the spreading sickness. You felt invincible because your Messiah told you that you were winning and that was enough for you. He was lying to you, as he always does, but you preferred to believe the lie because it felt warm running through your veins, even as it was poisoning you. The intoxicating cheap high of making America great while owning the libs. That was a costly drug, that arrogance, and you were slowly going broke in your addiction. Now, in the middle of a burgeoning pandemic and a precipitous market crash and a hopelessly fractured nation, the bill is coming due. You can't avoid paying anymore. You're here with us. I think even you realize that now. This president didn't create this virus, but he ignored it, denied it, minimized it, joked about it, weaponized it, politicized it, exacerbated it. He systematically removed qualified people and replaced them with genuflecting sycophantic traitors, or with no one at all. He generated a steady stream of partisan attacks and conspiracy theories and abject lies created in the moment, and the kind of I am smarter than anyone in the room sermonizing that cult leaders bellow all the way to the terrible tragic end. He is culpable for the chaos and the unnecessary illness, and yes, the preventable deaths because of it, and you are too. This is the human cost of the MAGA cult delusion, and we're all paying for it now equally, however we voted. Pandemics don't choose sides or spare voting blocks or respect affiliations. He will pay for it in November and in the unflattering, incorruptible light of history. I hope whatever you received was worth it. I hope you still feel like you're winning. This American carnage stops right here and stops right now. Now 
I remember everything.